Cancer, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for April 12th through the 18th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see. Cancer... What's up with you? <clears throat> All right, good. The overall energy for the reading, the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, feeling pretty strong, pretty independent, free. Um, maybe being in a place of recognizing what it is that you have, what it is that you don't have, but, you know doesn't mean that you're not doing good or you're not feeling good about basically appreciating what you do have. Um, so this is a pretty good energy um, on your side with the Nine of Pentacles that, that brings that sense of stability within yourself and outside of yourself. In the recent past, you get the King of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles. There seems to be some emotional detachment on somebody's part. So it, it feels to me that this person, um, cause you can't, I mean, there was obviously, there were emotions at stake on this person's part. Otherwise it wouldn't appear as if, but at the same time, you can't really turn off a switch and say, I don't love you anymore. I mean, you can say it, but that doesn't mean it's true. Just like that overnight. Right, so I feel like somebody's um, either closing off emotionally and that shows up as I don't love you anymore um, because I do still see them in the picture in terms of still present there but moving under a different kind of energy, not from an emotional aspect, you know, kind of like to translate it shortly, it would be let's just be friends, you know after some things have went on that weren't friendly. Um, in the current situation, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Three of Wands. You're healing, you're doing a lot of healing, uh, but you're a little bit in a waiting mode for this person to open back up or who knows what you're waiting for here. Um, we're gonna have to clarify and see, but you're not just waiting, sitting around, you know, just wasting time and uh, waiting for this person to show up. You're healing in this time. You're giving a lot to yourself by the looks of it. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Five of Cups, the Strength card, the Tower. Something's coming in here that's going to bring up the past, the, the icky past, not the pleasant past. It's going to bring up some ugly memories here. So something might be coming to the surface um, or something might be happening that's going to trigger something from the past, basically, for you. Because uh, I do see the strength card, which is telling me that you're going to have to be strong through it, whatever it is. But you are showing up as being that. So um, it's telling me it's something that could show up as being difficult to handle. Let's see the Nine of Pentacles. Let's clarify. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Four of Swords. Okay, so you're in a good place. You're starting to feel like you're in a good place for yourself there. But you may be wanting to share that with somebody. And you could have somebody specifically in mind. Um, and it could actually be this person here. Um, for others, it could be a general idea of, I'm in a good place. I really wish I could share this with somebody. You know, not having that uh, specific person in mind. Um... But there's a sense of wanting to share this energy that you carry with someone. Let me do the Eight of Cups in the recent past. The Nine of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Chariot. That's you. You could have been the one that left the situation. Not left the situation necessarily, physically. It could have been a little bit of backing off to take care of yourself more. So you could have stayed in that situation, but emotionally you weren't as invested because you needed that energy for yourself, basically. 
because I do see that Nine of Pentacles coming back up, attached to that Eight of Cups. Kind of like I'm leaving this, or I'm not giving attention to this so that I can give attention to myself here. And with the Page of Pentacles following, that definitely tells me that this was a period of growth for you and of learning. Let's do the Queen of Pentacles in the current situation. Five of Swords, Page of Swords, the Temperance card. Kind of taking a look at the ways in which you're taking care of you now. There's a little bit of not putting much effort into that currently. Maybe telling yourself that you are, maybe actually believing that. No, look at how many things I'm doing for myself. Um, the Five of Swords being there is kind of telling me that... Mm, I don't know. I mean, maybe you've fallen into a period of time where you don't have the time, you know, to to pay attention to yourself. Um, and you're still kind of in that place of, oh, I'm doing so many things for myself. And it's fine if you don't, you know. Um, there's almost like a recognition that needs to happen on your side of how much effort and time you put into your own healing. Um, because you're showing up as, I'm fine, which is telling me that you're hiding the fact that you may not be, you know? Um, it's part of your experience, it's part of your healing, whatever it is you're going through, and especially part of recognizing these aspects in ourselves, where we're kind of trying to fool ourselves a lot of the times, you know? Let's do the Four of Swords. In the current situation, Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, Five of Cups. Something from the past that caused a lot of pain kind of shut you down emotionally here, you know? Um, and I do see you trying to heal it. Maybe this is the part where you're being a little bit sabotaging towards yourself. Um, because I do see you trying to heal it, but in order to heal it, you need to open up your heart. And you're not doing it. You know, you you could be going through the flow of, of, through the motion of things, but not really feeling the flow of things, of the pain, unfortunately. Because um, something did hurt you here and you left it where it was, shut down. You're like, I'm not feeling it anymore. Everything's good. It went away. It didn't go anywhere. It just shut down. And you're not feeling it anymore. Because uh, it's still here. It's showing up here. Let's do the Three of Wands in the current situation. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and Two of Wands. Something's kind of waiting to happen here in regards to a partnership of some sort. Um... It almost feels like things are starting, things are waiting to be picked up where they were left off, but with a new energy. You may be waiting, they may be waiting, the both of you may be waiting. There's kind of like a in the background kind of energy that's waiting and it's yours and it's theirs. Or, or yours and not theirs, or theirs and not yours. Um, this energy, but it's it's lurking, it's in there. So this is telling me there's hope here for something to happen. But it can't happen until you open back up. Let's do the Five of Cups in the immediate future. Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Knight of Cups. See, somebody's running away from looking at something that basically broke their heart. And this person is expecting that another situation in love is going to fix that situation for them. I'm just going to replace that with that. We're going to be fine. It's like a puzzle piece that didn't match anymore. And we just drew over it. And it's, it's fine. It's looking the same. It's okay. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know, but somebody's hoping that something else is going to fix this broken situation from the past. Nope. You know, and I feel like that's you. And you're the only one that can do that. You just need to go through it in order to heal it. Um, trust me, whatever painful kind of situation you fear that you're going to feel, like I barely survived it the first time when I went through it. When you relive it, it's never going to feel this, as worse as the first time. Trust me. We only think it does. Or we think it's going to feel worse. Nope. Nope. Um, strength card. In the immediate future, you get the Nine of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Um, I see you doing it, basically. Kind of breaking through that heart of yours and opening it back up because the nine of cups is shown up and this is emotional and this is emotional balance um and you're very determined to get that happen to make to make that happen and here you are taking action towards that so i see you being strong going in it basically because you know like if this is something you've been dealing with for quite some time and you see you're not really making any kind of progress basically um you know it's gonna come back until you resolve it and eventually you're gonna have to go in it whatever that painful situation was let's do the tower in the immediate future ten of swords six of swords nine of wands yeah you keep on wanting to avoid it you keep on wanting to run from it it's an ending here that's shown up. Something ended. Somebody left. You may have left. I don't know who left here. But it created something very painful for you. And you're carrying that energy with you. Thinking that, no, I just put it aside. I'm not thinking about it, so I'm healed. I'm done. Uh -uh. You've dealt with it. It's your own experience. And shoving it aside doesn't make it go away, basically. And it's going to keep on coming back until you deal with it um let's see what the universe has the hangman the ace of pentacles the queen of swords you're very very determined to not deal with the situation you're like yeah but like logically if i create something new then I'm going to change everything i'm not going to have to look at the past it's like the past is not even mine it's i haven't experienced that you know, logically speaking, you might have some something going on there. But we are made of emotions also. So that's the part where, no. Because even if you think that, you're actually stagnating. Nothing's happening. Nothing's moving. Nothing's changing. You may believe that all you want. And you may even achieve something else for a split second until those freaking emotions come back into play. And they're going to remind you, hey... You forgot to address this situation here, you know? So, that's what I have for you, Cancer. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.